Hey, before this video starts, I just want to mention, if you want to commission me for a video posted here on YouTube, come over to when I stream either here on YouTube or on Twitch at Retro Mario Twitch. But, let me not take up your time, enjoy the video. They look so peaceful when they're sleeping. Anyway... If you don't mind now, I will... just, uh, be doing my thing. Although you can't talk to me right now because... it's obvious you're unconscious. But... I need someone to talk to, so, since you're the only other person here, I might as well start talking to you while I do my surgery. <laughs> right, so, let me get started then. Ideally, I would have thanked you if you were conscious for letting me do this. And although it's quite forceful to do what I do exactly, it is substantial for my survival. Because I can't really eat normal people food. You could say, well, a lot of people have said that I've become a monster. A monster. I think I've just become a primal hunter. Because that's what this world was made off of, right? Primal hunters who hunt the weak and take what's theirs for survival. That was the whole point of Earth, right? survival of the fittest. Well, just so happens with a little bit of time, knowledge, strength, anything is possible if you put anything into it. Sure, it might not happen <clears throat> overnight, but eventually, once you get done with the process, the rest should be easy. I will cut here. Don't worry, I will sew you right back up like nothing ever happened to you. You can't even talk back to me. I keep forgetting that the liquid-based Anastasia that I made by myself is a little bit more powerful than I thought it would be. With the testing of it, I uh, made someone fall asleep for seven hours. And I said to myself, that's too long. I don't need that much time on my hands. So, I simplified it. Made it into these tiny needles. Puts a human to sleep within seconds. And keeps them unconscious for about two to three hours. That's plenty of time for me to do things I need to. Especially getting what I need. Now I open my jar. And I will put this kidney inside of here. Tighten that up. And now that I have what I need, let me 
stitch you right back up. You see, being very fluent in my specialties has come to a very good benefit of mine. For me to be able to dissect a human with ease and sew them completely back up together like nothing happened. You could say it was short of a miracle of my medical skills. Because I did once want to be a doctor to help people. But then I turned into this and realized I needed to be stronger, faster, smarter than regular humans. Because I'm not regular anymore. I'm different. But I come to live with that. That I am always different. I will never be the same like I was. I'm almost done here. And it has been a few hours ever since I did give you that shot. So I will be hasty with my hands a little bit. If I make a mistake, I apologize. Although you won't be able to disagree or agree with me because you're unconscious. But I find too well not find more like I like when my patients are unconscious makes it a lot easier to do the things that I need to. And one more stitch. And you are good. Perfect. And I think you might be still unconscious. It's very interesting to see the human body lay lifeless when it's unconscious. It's nice to see that this used to be how I was, unconscious to the world and all of its openness. Enough of my rambling. I've had enough already. I have what I need. So, I thank you again for letting me take what I need and be on my way. Hmm. What's this? A wallet. Huh. Let's see, what do you have in here? Some money. I'll take it. What's this? Family photo. Interesting. <laughs> well then. If this is your family, then that means they're inside this house, right? Maybe, just maybe. If they're sleeping. Wait, what am I thinking? How many more of these in Anastasia? Anesthesia needles do I need? Be able to put this family in deep slumber so I can get what I need from them. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, 
Six. I have six more needles I can use. That's more than enough than what I'd need. Again, I thank you for letting me be able to get my food. It's too bad your family has to go through the same thing. So no, I won't be leaving. Matter of fact, you'll probably still be sleeping. Maybe, maybe not. But who knows? I'll find out once you hear screaming. Or even the blood-curdling cries of your family getting dissected. Let's test that hypothesis. 